Welcome back to more Costume Quest, Too Fast, Too Furious. I'm TBG Hunter, and last time we got a new party member, Monty, who seems to be very familiar with this area. Uh, we got a new costume, which was the clown, which is the most terrifying thing ever to be put into this game. And we also got ourselves a little bit of trick-or-treating and a little bit of battles done. We also got a few of the creepy treat cards. Let's see... Yeah, we can't use this one because it's one battle. It has to recharge in between battles. But yeah, only one creepy tree card right now, so who knows? Maybe we'll find more? Maybe we won't. You'll just have to find out next time on Dragon Ball. Alright, let's just do some more trick-or-treating. And of course, if this turns out to be a battle, then I will be cutting it out like right now. Damn you, monster. Mustache. And nothing too much. We got ourselves a new creepy tree card, though, so we'll show that off right about now. Probably the best thing ever to have dialogue-wise has to be Candy Corn wanting a mustache. So let's see. Amazing attacks are much easier with splorts. Hmm. That might come in handy if we have to fight tough enemies. We'll just head up here and just whack the ever-living crap out of this thing. Get as much candy as we can. Of course, some fell down because edge... No edge limitations. Give me a second. And one got stuck in the tree over there. Thank you very much, game. I do want to come back up here because there is a door over here somewhere. I need some water. Eh, you don't need water. Or am I just going crazy? Because it looks like there's an opening that you can go into over there. Huh. Could have sworn I, I must be going crazy. Alright. Oh, Reynolds get taking a bit of a beating. And I don't know about you guys, but the idea of a candy corn with a mustache is probably the best idea ever. And I, I want to issue a challenge of you drawing, like, a dapper as hell candy corn with, like, mustache, monocle, and the top hat. You can have a cane rest next to it if you want, but that's, that's your choice. But I really want to see, like, a dapper as all hell candy corn. So I'm issuing that a challenge to anyone out there who's watching this. And why am I pointing my finger at the at the TV screen? I'm ah, God, just cut to the end of the fight. Sadly, no creepy tree cards. Although, I guess the extra candy is always a welcome surprise. Well, not really much of a surprise if we're getting it after every battle. Now, can I please actually get an actual human at this door, please? Trick or damn treat. Thank you! Aren't you just adorable? I can pitch your cheats! Uh, I need an adult. I am an adult. Alright, well, we made a full circle all the way back here, so why don't we head up north a bit? And thank you, roller skates! Trick or treat! You know, I've been seeing a tell. If it's always slow at the beginning, it's always considered to be a monster. I just now noticed this. Hey, Ghost Munch! I haven't seen that creepy tree card in ages. How you doing, pal? Also, Reynold is about to die any minute now. I should probably go over to the fountain and get a drink. Thank goodness there is one right here, as well as a hide and seeker. Was it the moaning that gave me away? Why were you moaning? That... that... you're moaning behind a pile of trash, that... that, that gives me a bad image in my head, please, no, no, just, go, no. I'm getting away from here before I have any bad ideas. I mean, what? Trick or treat. Ah, <sighs> it's never that easy, is it? Candy corn does what candy corn wants to do. That that seems to be a proven fact. Just gonna beat the crap out of this stuff. I'm angry that we're getting all these random encounters. Can I please have a human? Thank you. You know, lady, uh, your your job in Halloween is actually supposed to be to give out candy, not eat all the candy. It's the kids' jobs to eat all the candy on Halloween, and. Ooh, we got costume material for some dino slippers. 
I wonder what that could mean. Also, we probably should uh, take a look at the uh, creepy tree card if I can please show off Ghost Munch. Eh. For some reason, it's not showing up, so I'll just show it. We'll have to show it off in the next fight. Also, random overworld encounters do not want backing up, backing up, backing up. Thank goodness I backed up because I'm over here. Have another house. You lucky okay? I still have candy left. Busy Halloween this year. Can't do anything over here. But however, there is actually a little secret back here. Going all the way over here leads us to yet another candy pinata. So, beat the crap out of it. Collect our spoils. Some of it fell into the water, which made me angry. Got over a thousand candy. Probably should find a place to spend it all because... You know, it would be nice if we can actually, you know, have this candy to use. We could eat it for health, but I, for now, I don't think it's a good idea. We could go back here. Actually, oh, shit. Uh-oh. I really don't want to run into another battle. I just got done through a smorgasbord of battles. Oh, hey, what do we have over here? If I can actually get over there, invisible walls. Huh. It's just a, it, this this area is just a tease. It's I guess it's just a place you can go to hide from the enemies that patrol over here. And we can't do anything right now because we need something to blow those leaves away. Slip me the candy, I'll slip you the creepy treat cards. Well, look who it is. It's an old pal from Repuga. Shady, what are you doing way out here? Shh, keep it down, kid. Don't want to attract attention. How did you get out of Repuga? I got clients all over. I go where the action is, kid. But this is decades in the past. You think I'm gonna let some chump in the past tell me my business? Shh, you don't know, Shady. So listen, you want some creepy treat cards or not? I got some good ones, man. We got a map of the lower bayou that gives us a lay of the land. It actually shows us the ins and outs, uh, trick-or-treat doors, and costumes. Stuff. We'll buy that just so we can actually get a map for once. We got some succums. Giggity. Uh, chosen hero takes two turns. That seems pretty good. I'll, I'll grab it just for the hell of it. Got Charmites. Uh, cut a minion's health in half on each turn. That's really good. Snickets, doubles the candy reward, and bone bones. Ah ha ha, bon bon, bone bone, ew. Uh, stun an enemy for three turns. You know what? I got the candy for it. I'll just buy all of it. Yes, yes, and yes. Take care, kid. Somewhere else, I can't be discreet with you kids hanging around. And hey, what do you know? We got a house right here. However, I think I'm going to switch out the creepy tree cards we have now. So, let's see. Well, we can take two turns. I Let's see. Mute a minion's magic attack. I'm not really seeing myself using that a whole lot. A minion attacks itself. That's actually pretty good. Attacking area. You know what? I'll, I'll switch that out with succums. And where? Yeah, kind of minion's health half each turn. I'll do this to double the candy rewards. Because if this is a battle, might as well do it. And lo and behold it is. Oh hey, we actually are introduced to a new type of enemy. Uh, the crony machinist or machinist or whatever you want, however you want to pronounce it. This is a new enemy type. This is a machine typed enemy, and sadly, the superhero costume is not that strong against it. So for now, I'm going to focus on my flying fist attack and just take out the crony combatant. Gandicorn doesn't think of itself as a piece of candy. Maybe I don't know. And we'll have the clown costume focus its attack on the 
machinist, as I would like to call it, not machinist, it's a potato potato thing, since it does have no, it has no damage increase, but it has no debuff, so it'll do average damage to it. Bouncy, 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 fun, 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 fun! So going after candy corn, better candy corn than me. Going after candy corn too, damn it. Oh yeah, that's right, the machinist actually does splash damage, so it's actually kind of important to take that thing out fast. You know what? Creepy tree card. I'm gonna let you deal with this thing. Ghost Munch! Activate in attack mode! So while you're being burned, I think I'm gonna uh, heal up Monty because he's actually kind of low and I don't think there's a, a fountain anywhere nearby. Ah ha 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 ha! Ah ha 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 ha! It's still terrifying! Oh, hey, you casted weak sauce on me. That poisoned me. It poisoned Reynolds, which is probably the best outcome of all of them. Now, can you please attack yourself? I'm actually going to focus on this chronic combatant with both of them. Reynolds poisoned. So, sadly, we don't get any witty candy corn dialogue. How dare you? There you go. Damaged yourself when you attacked Reynolds. I'm gonna punch you in the face and oh come on you got one HP left uh, Monty just squish him with your belly thank you actually I probably should have activated that creepy tree card also got a second thing to ghost munch and if you remember Mac in that little trailer area one of the kids actually said he was looking for a ghost munch I gotta be careful because there's a patrol going nearby I don't want to come across it and have to get into another random battle Knock on wood, and there he is right there. Actually, you know what? I will, because I can show off the uh, sneak attack. Time for you to clock out. It, I love the sneak attack because it's filled with puns. Also, Renald just, or Ren for that matter, just went bald when transforming. That's kind of weird. Oh boy. So yeah, doing a sneak attack on enemies actually does damage them a bit. I think... With the different candy pails you get, because like in the first game, you actually do get different candy pails. Um, it actually does more damage with each sneak attack. And yeah, I was right, those are pumpkins. Candy corn stands its ground. Well, that's pretty much the only thing candy corn can do. We'll use a creepy tree card and we'll get some snickets. He's so wacky! He's also still terrifying! Is there anything Clown can't do? Well, can't be good against these guys, that's for sure. Thank goodness you're attacking Reynold, but holy hell, Reynold's taking a beating. We need to find a better costume for Reynold, because... Lo and behold, I think... I think... We can get one in this video. Don't hold me on that, but I believe we can. And if you believe upon a star, you can achieve who you are. Alright. So, might as well focus on the stronger version, take that one out faster. Three health! Come on! Candy Corn is not your monkey. Oh, Candy Corn's getting a bit sassy with me. It's starting to grow a bit of an attitude. Punch you in the face, you die, thank you very much, give me my extra candy. Also, I just realized there's a very, very tiny, but at the same time, actually kind of big gator back there. Let's just skate on by to speed things up, actually. Yeah, we can just swing by here. Get some of the drink, heal up, and head over here to this kid, because... It's your lucky day! I happen to have a spare Ghost Munch card right here! Hey, now you're... I got... I have a complete set again! Here's your Bubble Barf card. And hey, we leveled up! Awesome! 
Well, let's take a look at... Oh, of course, we got the map. Huh, it's a good thing I checked the map because I would have missed the house right there. But after the house right there, it seems that we're pretty much done in this little lower quadrant. Corvus combos, I'm thinking I learned some move, move combat techniques from Corvus, so I may actually go there in between videos and just leave off from there. Still gotta find four more kids in the bayou. We've got six more houses to trick or treat at. Costumes, we still don't know what this costume is, but apparently it's dinosaur related because it's got dino slippers. Uh, now, bubble barf. Let's take a look at the bubble barf card. Chosen hero is ignored by all enemies. Actually, that that's actually pretty good. It's actually good to switch out your cards in between battles, especially ones that have a long cooldown. So we'll switch that one out with that, and switch that one out with that. Oh, hey, you got some enough problems without having to worry about your gators eating my cards, you know? Ah, oh, preach, brother. I mean, gator attacks are the number one cause of gator-related deaths. Especially new cards. They seem to be a favorite. Okay, where the hell is this house at? Did I, did I just skate right by it? Alright, so up there... Oh, no, wait, that's not a house. That's just showing a house that's inactive. I'm actually done down here. So we'll just head up north. Crap! You know, it actually took me to this fight to realize that the Machinist, Machinist, whatever you want to call it, uh, like, little core area, is actually a digital clock, and it differs from the other one that's uh, just, like, an original, like, style clock. And, of course, we got a gator. Gonna beat the crap out of you. And, of course, honk honk! Because that seems like the smartest thing to do is to wake up a sleeping gator. With some greenish yellow fabric. This is starting to get more and more interesting of what this costume could be. And hello. Duel del Diablo. Did you come to duel the best? Because I'm the best. The best at what? At dueling. There's no one but other than the bayou. Or more humble, apparently. That's true. I'm also the humblest, but I've no more for being the best. Anyways, looks like an instrument you got there. Do you dare challenge me to a duel? The squeaky horn? It's not really a musical instrument. Oh, I thought you were a clown at first, but it turns out you're actually a chicken! Okay, game on. You're going to feel a good take... It's going to feel good taking your pterodactyl pattern. God, I cannot talk tonight. Tch, is that all you got? Interesting technique. Let's see if you can handle this. Okay, okay, stop. I'm it, I'm just getting confused. Honestly, I don't even know how to judge this duel. You could be the best clown whore player in the world. Did I just say clown whore player? Oh, God. Or the worst. Who knows? How about we call it a draw? I'll give you my pterodactyl pattern and we keep this between us. Sounds fine to me. We both know who really won anyway. We do? Who was it? Me, right? Or you? How can you even tell? Suspicious... I don't know what. What's a pterodactyl? It's an awesome flying dinosaur. Let's look at for materials so we can build it. Quest complete. And if you take a look now, those costume materials we've been collecting are for the pterodactyl, of course. We're just missing one more thing, and we are set. But... You know what? Actually, you know what? Right here. Talk to you. Why do I wear this hat? The hat always gives me away. Yeah, it kind of contrasts with the terrifying bayou desolation setting, whatchamacallit, whatever. Anyways, 
I think this is a good time to end things off. We got a new costume pattern. We got two thirds of the getting the costume itself. We pretty much finished up everything to do in the lower section of the bayou. And I think now's a good time to no make our way north. So next time on Costume Quest 2, I'm actually gonna meet you back at Everett and Lucy's place so we can talk to Corvus about these new combo moves he wants to teach us. So, until then, I will see you guys next time. Later.